let me let me let me ask you this. Uh, El Chapo, he clearly was a major force um, in Mexico. This this is a man who I, I, he probably doesn't know how many people he killed. Um, the last time you and I spoke, th this guy was the Grim Reaper himself. He he led a crew called the Sleepers. They were known for killing right. uh, and burying bodies, period. That's what they did. Um, and this is before he even became the head of or one of the heads of the Sinaloa cartel. But Mexico reached out and they allowed the U.S. to extradite him. And now El Chapo, who uh, escaped twice from Mexican prisons has been put away for life on U.S. soil. Did the Mexicans give him up almost as a scapegoat? Because they could have kept him running around that country and continuing to do what it seems like every other trafficker is doing. In the case of El Chapo, El Chapo was never like a major, major drug lord. Well, Chapo wasn't that smart. Chapo had like a had like a third grade education. He is not a good businessman, what have you. He rose because of the reputation of being an executioner and a killer. That's why he rose in the organization. To give up El Chapo was easy for the Mexican government. They're giving up a really a person that was been made you know, like something big, but it wasn't as big as he was made. The real jefe in the Sinaloa cartel is Ismael El Mayo Zambada. El Chapo was part of that you know, uh, that cartel. He was just one of them. Okay, El Chapo was becoming an embarrassment to the government because he kept it, you know, basically, he wouldn't stop. He loved the spotlight. He wanted movies made on him. He loved all the corridos. He loved he was uh, an exposed, he liked being an exposed cartel guy. He wasn't quiet like a Mayo. You don't hear about no, Mayo no. Zamba ever. He's very back, back seat, it, he's hidden. Chapo was a circus clown, put Chapo up front. He wants to be famous, let him, let him meet with Cato Castillo and all these movie stars and Sean Penn and stuff. He wants movie made on him. I mean, think about it. Think about this guy's intelligence. He is videotaped with Sean Penn saying he was the biggest distributor of heroin, of cocaine, of methamphetamine, of fentanyl in the world. What intelligence does that show you he has? On video. He was, like I said, he was a circus clown. He was a clown of the circus. He wasn't the owner of the circus. And they will, they, and those guys, the serious guys, love putting him up front. So finally they said, okay, you want El Chapo? Here you go, have El Chapo. And so just send him over here. El Chapo was never a jefe de jefes. He was just, he was known. He loved the, he was kind of like a John Gotti. He loved flashing, I'm the narco, make the song on me, I'm the bad guy. He loved it. And he exposed himself. He was an overt, basically a uh, drug dealer, an overt uh, leader of, uh, he was a leader of a, uh, uh, cartel that was lower scale. Okay, but when 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 did you see my old Sambala coming out and say, make a movie on me? Send up champagne over here to interview me. That shows you the intelligence and the insignificance of El Chapo. He was not a Caro Quintero. He was not a famous Gallardo. He's a guy saying, I'm the biggest drug lord. Make me famous. Make a movie on me. Write the songs on me. That's why he became an embarrassment to the cartel and along with the Mexican government. You know what? Let's get rid of this guy already. This guy's ridiculous. I mean, going, you know, inviting Sean Penn and Kate Del Castillo and all these movie people to make a movie on him. That's what they're supposedly doing. That's the reason they chose to go down there. It's, it's ridiculous. They make him bigger than what he is, Sean. You see, most people don't realize that El Mayo is the true jefe de jefe when it comes to the Sinaloa cartel. Uh, we hear through American media that it begins and ends with El Chapo. And when 
El Chapo was extradited to the United States. The United States could beat its chest and say, hey, we got uh, the bin Laden of traffickers. He's now on U.S. soil, and we are going to do what we do best and bring this guy to justice. I, I, I didn't realize that, for lack of a better way to put it, this guy's a figurehead. Um, he, he, he is someone that loved the spotlight but was not necessarily running, truly running, the Sinaloa cartel. I, I don't think too many Americans realize that. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.